this is where the fun begins. What's up guys, unofficial Star Wars here. Hope you're all doing well and you guys just witnessed all of the remaining scenes that we are yet to see in the Ahsoka show going forward in the second half of the season. That there of course is all of the remaining footage coming from TV spots, promos, and the actual trailers for the show itself. We're gonna go ahead and hop right on into it, break it all down for you guys as our mid-season teaser or preview video here for the channel. Grab that subscribe button if you haven't already and that notification bell to be notified for when we have new videos coming out here on the channel. We of course are discussing and talking about all types of Star Wars related news, leaks, rumors, theories, and breakdowns here on the channel. So if you guys are into any of that, grab that subscribe button and join us here today. So with half of the show still to come for Ahsoka, an Ahsoka fan had actually put together the small trailer sequence scene from the marketing campaign that's yet to appear in the actual show's episodes moving forward. These are all scenes that I'm not saying that are going to appear in the next episode, episode 5, but much rather through throughout the entirety of the next four episodes and the remainder of the overall season. So Lucasfilm's latest Star Wars Disney Plus show Ahsoka has been making waves as of late. The eight episode story picks up with the titular Jedi and the post return of the Jedi era and timeline in the Mandoverse alongside with all seasons of the Mandalorian and the Book of Boba Fett as she and her allies try to prevent Grand Admiral Thrawn from once again making his presence known and making a return as he has been banished as it was revealed in episode 2 that both him, Thrawn, and Ezra were banished to a whole other galaxy. So, four of those eight episodes of Ahsoka have already arrived on Disney+, Plus, with the fifth one coming out later tonight at the time of recording and publishing this video, although key players like Thrawn have yet to be actually given the spotlight. This unseen footage and like yet to be seen moments in the actual Ahsoka show amounts to only nine seconds of footage, but there are still some notable moments for Star Wars fans to actually get pretty hyped over. Now, as it often is the case with these big budget projects for Disney especially, some of these scenes might not make the final cut actually, although that seems rather unlikely considering the importance behind most of these scenes it seems. And first and foremost, the big bad of the show, Grand Admiral Thrawn, or seemingly the big bad of the overall Ahsoka show. I feel like that's something to discuss in another video though. Another theory for another time has yet to show his trademark blue face. But when he does, he'll be played by the voice actor Lars Mikkelsen, as he also played the animated character in the animated show Star Wars Rebels. Not just that, but Thrawn can also be seen aboard one of his massive battleships. Actually, although I believe that this scene of uh, Thrawn on the ship from the behind is actually supposed to be him on the giant Eye of Scion hyperspace ring that Morgan Elsbeth had created, as both of those actually have these gold interiors. Another sequence of Hera, the chopper in behind, and the ghost are on the planet of Ciotis. Syndulla has her blaster pistol raised as though she's expecting trouble. She also is standing in the location of where the Night Sister Morgan Elsbeth had activated the star map, which led to Thrawn's location. I will have to say I'm pretty certain that we'll see this hopefully in episode 5. Ahsoka Tano is leaning against a wall on what looks to be in her T6 shuttle that she's been using to get around for the show so far. Seems like that maybe she's imparting some advice to another character here, or just kind of saying what's going on overall. Maybe when she does come back out of the world between worlds at the end of episode 5, perhaps, she finds herself back in Ciotis rather than using the world between worlds to travel to this other galaxy to stop Morgan Elsbeth to getting to Thrawn. Although, I feel like that's kind of unlikely to a point. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. The next small clip shows the penultimate piece of footage, including three maps of egg-shaped vessels floating in space, coming out of hyperspace before engaging into battle, it seems as though. Correct me down in the comments down below, but I would believe these to actually be for the New Republic, if for anything, so maybe the New Republic does eventually come around later in the show, and actually do want to do something about things for once, and actually help out with Thrawn and these Imperial Remnants. Okay, and then lastly, the Ghost and Ahsoka's T6 shuttle soar through the clouds. One can be seen and much more detailed work has gone into bringing the iconic ghost to life actually as well. After all, Star Wars Rebels diehards would expect nothing less. The overall ship that we've seen with the ghost and that has looked absolutely amazing. I actually believe this to be the ghost and the T6 shuttle that Ahsoka flies around to be leaving the planet of Ciotis. Maybe they're trying to find a way to this other galaxy. 
So this year all being said overall, it looks like that the overall Ahsoka show still has much more ground to cover here, despite this being a short 9 second like clip or snippet of all of the footage compiled together of what we've are yet to see in the Ahsoka show itself. It is clear though however that the first 4 episodes or first half of the overall season of Ahsoka have kind of just about barely scratched the surface of what's in store for viewers in the series' backside of uh, the next 4 episodes going forward here as well. Although it did cover just about everything that we did see in the uh, TV spots and trailers. This is as per usual for most live action Star Wars shows, as they'll usually use footage compiled from about the first three to four episodes of the show, or just like the first half of the overall show. We've seen this with all seasons of The Mandalorian, The Book of Boba Fett, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Andor, uh, pretty much all live action Star Wars shows, and that trend doesn't seem to stop here for Ahsoka. Not, that's not necessarily a bad thing either. I love going into the second half half of the Star Wars uh, Disney Plus shows and also for Marvel at that. If you're a Marvel fan, I have a Marvel channel linked in the description down below. And so for starters, as those two who are following along will know that Ahsoka Tano has found herself in the mysterious world between worlds at the end of episode four. Not only that, but she was met with a shocking surprise. Her old former master, Anakin Skywalker, played once again by the one and only legendary Hayden Christensen back reprising that role. And to make audiences that much more excited, the show's fifth chapter is getting a theatrical release in select cities. I have a whole nother video discussing and talking about that. And the episode is going to be directed by the one and only uh, Dave Filoni. So that being said, there has to be some interesting things that are in store and to go down in that episode for Disney to put it up and want to like spend it to put it up on the big screen in some of those select cities. This year all being said, guys, what are you guys thinking? What are all of your thoughts and opinions? I would love to hear in the comment section down below your own stuff. Star Wars fan theories I would love to hear in the comment section down below. Of course, stay tuned. I'll have a preview video for Ahsoka Episode 5 a little bit later, shortly after this. All the more reason to grab that subscribe button if you haven't already. It seems like there is, there is still so much more to come in the remaining episodes of Ahsoka. We're so excited for it. Of course, we're going to have reaction and breakdown videos with things that you might have missed, references, and an overall Easter egg breakdown for each and every Ahsoka episode here on the channel. All the more reason to grab that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Of course, this has been unofficial Star Wars. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great one. May the Force be with you as always. Peace out.